Hey guys, it's Hannah and this is Bookworms Talk and today I'm going to film my May favorites. Last favorites video in the apartment. Say goodbye, goodbye wall, bye other wall. But I'm just gonna jump right into this because it is like one in the morning and my neighbors will hate me. So voices down, whispers, Hannah whispers. My first favorite is The Bronze Horseman by Paulina Simons. This book is humongous. It's humongous. This thing is the size of Losing Hope, which is like the awkward height book that I always rant about. But okay, getting to the, the love of this book. I have a book talk on it, which I'll link on this half of the screen. But I loved this book to pieces. I loved it as much, if not more than Jane Eyre. I really cannot decide. It's at the tide point because I can't make that kind of decision. The writing in it is just exquisite. And in the size of this book, I never once got bored or felt like, when is this over? It was just paced so well, like I admire her pacing. I am not that good at it myself as a writer, that's something I have to work with. And so for someone to just pace a huge book this big, like over 800 pages and do it well, just, and I'm going to bow to you now. My next favorite is How to Kill a Rockstar by Tiffany De Bartolo. This, ugh, it makes me feel so bad for giving other books five star ratings because this book deserves all the stars. I basically just read off a a zillion different favorite quotes from that in my poetry favorites. I'm about halfway through with that one and oh my god, it's just so good. It's so good. Tiffany's writing style, I cannot get over. Oh, da, da, da. It's now for my favorite music of the month. I have been listening to The Neighborhood nonstop, this whole CD. Like I've loved this CD for so long and I'm so happy that I have not lost it. I tend to lose CDs. I was mostly listening to, I think it was Afraid, How, Female Robbery, What's number 10? Whatever number 10 is, I don't remember. I've also continued listening to Julia Stone. I was listening to, um, oh my God, what's the black sea with the, uh, the thing is gonna be up here. What is it called? Let's something, or no, horns, something with horns. I don't remember, but that CD, I was basically just listening to nonstop. What is it? The, sh the shit that they feed us, I think is my favorite one, just cause I thought the title was really clever and I like the feel of it. I've also continued listening to Gregory Allen Isakoff and my favorite, this month is 3 a.m. from the Seafarer or whatever it is album and then from a different album which is um, the Northern Hemisphere one. I'm, it's really late <laughs> um, but I'm really liking uh, Big Black Car from that song CD. Oh, see it's so late my brain. Oopsies I forgot to mention a book. Oh, I read it so early in the month I almost totally forgot about it but Nowhere But Here by Renee Carlino. Oh my god I cannot even read today. Also, I have a book talk up on this. I thought it was super sweet and a nice little contemporary romance. And I said that it was what all contemporary romances should aspire to, and I totally believe, like, I agree with that still. But now that I'm reading How to Kill a Rockstar, I mean, they're not really contemporary romance. I don't know what I would consider How to Kill a Rockstar. It's just much wittier than anything I've ever read. So I feel like there should be two different categories. But yeah, I don't, I, I really liked this. I don't know words. Now I'm going to talk about my favorite movies of the month. First, I'm going to start with blah 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 blah. blah. First, I'm going to start off with one that I have in. What's this? This means have I? I'm holding physical copy. That's what it's called. Um, and it is Doctor Zhivago. If you've heard of this, it is a book. That's right. Awkward. Okay. It is a book. It's a classic. And I heard of it, I think it was from the Bronze Horseman or it was my mother that mentioned it, I'm not really sure which came first. But it's about the Russian Revolution and then there's this little bit of love in it and then there's Yuri Zhivago who's like the main dude in this. He's a doctor but he's also a poet but he's more of a poet for himself and there's like poetry in this and I'm a sucker for it and I already, I watched the 2002 version first throw it as far as you can, like into the street. I might just do that. I hate, I did not, I hated it. I hated it. There was no poetry in this at all. And I'm like, that is such a vital part of the story. I've not read the book yet, albeit, but from people who have read it and I've talked to about it, they're like, poetry, really big part of it. Yeah, no poetry at all. There was no reading of the poetry and I was so irritated. And so now I'm going to talk about my favorite Netflix series of the month, and that is Dexter. I started watching, I have not Megan, I started watching, you've convinced me, and I began it. I be begun it, but can't, I've started. I am now into season two, and I started last night. Shame face. It is really gory, the first couple episodes, just the intro, little like the skit thingy where they throw the actors' names and everything up, that grossed me the hell out. 
but now I'm kind of like, oh, okay, I'm going with it because it's just, it's nasty. If you just look up like the little theme bubble, whatever it's called, you'll be grossed out. But I'm so desynthesized to it now that I'm just like, all right, this is cool. And I was just craving eggs and ham all the time. But it is super gory at times. I think it's really well done. Episode 10 is nasty. But yeah, you just you get used to it, I swear. Yeah, but that's not a good thing. <laughs> and now I'm going to talk about something that I have not talked about in a favorites video before because it seldom happens. And I began watching the Lizzie Bennet Diaries. I know I'm late to the party. Cora from Coraline's Book Reviews got me started on that. And so I'm like watching Dexter nonstop. And then when I'm not watching Dexter, I'm watching the Lizzie Bennet Diaries. I have to say like 40 something. I don't a lot of episodes in. I feel like everyone knows the Lizzie Bennet Diaries. And I'll link that channel down in the description if you are not familiar with it and then you'll find out pretty quickly. Hint, hint, Pride and Prejudice. And without really repeating my on-air TV series things, because nothing is on right now, they're going to be on next month, so I'll have a lot to talk about then. But I'm still on Game of Thrones, I'm still... Actually, I'm not liking Salem anymore. I have been over that for a while and I've meant to amend my Oh, Salem is so good that I said in a video before because the first episode was really good and then the second episode was like, I'm confused. And then the third, I'm like, I don't want to watch this. And I think I forced myself through like five episodes and I just give, I've given up now. I would tell you guys what my favorite candle of the month has been, but they're all packed up in a box and I'm not going to open them. But I've been really loving the mahogany teakwood one because I wanted to finish burning one that I had and I'm just like, it smells like an Abercrombie man model, man model. I actually know one of them, so that's awkward to say. Psst, I'm ignoring that. So I really hope that you guys enjoyed this and I will see you guys later next time on Bookworms Talk. Be sure to check out my poetry video, which really isn't poetry. It's more like quotes with one poem that I threw in there that was like five words long, but we're just going with it. Bye apartment. And I, oh guys, I have a vlog channel in which I'm filming the moving process and the packing process and Cora came over and helped me and stuff. And it was, it, she made it fun because we watched the Lizzie Bennet Diaries the whole time. So I'll see you guys later. Bye.